Jesus teaches us that it isn't the food that we eat that defiles us, but the words that come from our mouths, the things that we express, the things that reveal our inner state. Jesus, of course, was living at a time when Jewish law prescribed rules about religious uncleanliness. But we need to be careful how we interpret these words of Jesus, because there are indeed things that we can allow to enter us that can defile us. I was recently in hospital and the medical staff who took very good care of me gave me so many drugs that I found it for a few days impossible to pray. My mind was a blur and then slowly as I struggled to pray I found my mind swirling with words from books and films and lines and lyrics from songs things that had entered me and stayed there, things that became a barrier and prevented me from praying. It reminded me of something the Church Fathers say, which Fathers teach us that we must stand guard over the entrances to our hearts and minds, stand guard through watchfulness, through prayer, attentiveness, sobriety. Stand guard over the things that we pay attention to and focus our minds on, the concepts, the ideas, the influences that we allow to develop in our minds. And in our hearts, the impulses, the feelings, the passions that we allow to grow. We must question, are they to the glory of God or do they defile us? The demons want nothing more than to snatch us from the kingdom of God, to defile us, make us unworthy, because they hate us. And why do they hate us? Because you and I are created in the image and likeness of God. They can't do anything to harm God, and so they express their hatred of God towards us, who are in His image and likeness. They want to fill us with defilement. And so we must stand guard and be watchful, prayerful over these entrances to our minds and our hearts and allow only those things to grow there that are to the glory of God and not to our own defilement.